welcome back to the channel guys my name is Parky P and if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel my name is Parky P and this is Kona now before we get into the meat and potatoes of the game that's a classic English saying for you uh, I would just like to say if you are not subscribed to the channel please hit that subscribe button it would mean the world to me you'd be doing myself a massive favor while we load the game and yeah you'd just be helping a smaller channel grow and thrive okay so landslide this is where we got up to at the very end of the last video of the first video even so let's investigate the, the car meant the car sunk down just a little while ago now where the hell could the passengers possibly oh, okay run? close the door open the boot Polaroid film and a lone boot. How a boot someone that? Had been playing with a crossbow here. Uh, a very dangerous game. A bolt could hit someone's tire. That's fucking that. Eye. It could even kill someone if the aim was right. It could even kill someone if the aim was right. No, it's really annoying that I can't. But I don't think I can. I can jump. Fucking hell! Can I actually crouch? Carl's long-standing and faithful ally. Oh, I can I've crouch. Seen a share okay. Of husbands caught red-handed cheating. There's always something out there waiting. Oh, so he's like away. a detective, like that. Ice wall. Okay. Oh. Carl felt engulfed by a wave of cold, and for a second thought he was. Oh, fainting. hello. All of a sudden, four phantasmagoric figures. <laughs> phantasmagoric. <laughs> what the hell was going on? Oh, I love the narration, like the writing of this narration. This is crazy. Hi, guys. What is going on? Why are you all. Are you okay? You're quite short, all of you. Uh. Yeah, I don't get this. I've not got a f fucking clue. Uh. Oh, hold on. Maybe if I follow the tracks again. Hmm. No, maybe not. No, I'm fucking baffled. Like, what is the this? Carl moved oh, away okay. from the ice floor, the more his senses came back to him. What? Okay, that's mad. <gasps> There's an animal. There's animals. No, I want a picture. Oh crap. Um hold on. Wait, let me uh Oh wait 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 wait. Steak. Throw the steak. But a steak on uh Bone cannot subdue a starving stomach. An appetite comes Have another in. steak. Okay, they don't want the second steak, that's fine. Okay, so we should see some footprints or something. We do. Aha. Uh -huh. I may be starting to get the game now. I saw the house. There's a house. Okay, you're getting cold. Let's get into the house. Just warm up a little bit. Oh, this is the house I was supposed to go to. Hey, we did it. Okay. Second of a lock. Uh. Freezing. Right down to the bone. 
a mm. the pot was cold and the stew inside wasn't cooked it's likely that poor Giselle was ah, cooking it before she okay. got snaps what a waste wait oh, are you kidding me I don't have any fire starters aha uh -huh. I need to be one there bye Okay, this is weird. I don't. I was not expecting this type of. Oh, he's gone. Oh. Something was hidden under the stairs. Yeah, it was. It was also something up here. Ah. The man grabbed his rifle. Papa <gasps> felt a sense of dread in him. His rifle? Okay. Oh, the flooring's changed. Bertrand Lachance, 1948. Spousal relationship oh. been cooling down. Oh, I thought she had a gun. Okay. This is different. I like it this sort like of thing. Secrecy was commonplace in this house. So there's something else under the floorboard. Carl oh, the God. Cold slowly Giselle's diary. Giselle's Diary, page 1, September. Mother once told me, when I first met Giles, that I hadn't picked the brightest bulb of the lot. And as the years fly by, I'm seeing the truth of her words. Always trust your mother's wisdom. That blackmailing scheme is a prime example of Giles' brightness. He's like a small dog. He thinks he's bigger than he actually is. He growls, genuinely thinking he's scary. But everyone knows he can be pushed aside with a little kick. He truly believes he can blackmail Hamilton, the big boss himself. It's going to be a long time in hell before my poor Giles can manage to pull off such a feat. After all, Hamilton's a rich, learned and influential man. Not only is that blackmailing idea bad to begin with, let's be honest, Giles is way out of his league. But Giles doesn't even know he's actually going to carry this out. How he's actually going to carry this out. I don't even think he would... I don't even think he ever would. He's just throwing random threats out loud in the kitchen. He says he'll do it eventually, but I know better. Successful blackmailing requires masterful cunning, and Giles is a master of nothing. He is a slave, and forever will be. I often look at that safe he keeps hidden in the fake wall, in which he stores all these incriminating documents he intends to use, and I just can't come to grips with the sheer ridiculousness of the whole thing. That's mad. Is there an actual person in there? Yeah, there is. Christ. Nine. We're in. We're in the safe. Compromising documents. William Hamilton is a crook. He has been blackmailing everyone in the village, myself included, like the infamous Seraphine Boudria. And this document is proof of every bribe paid by Hamilton to the federal authorities in regard to the acquisition of his damn mine. The fact that he has used his henchmen to instill terror within the village will not sway the tribunals down in Montreal, but the fact that he has been bribing government officials surely will. I can already picture it making the front page, the English are all the same, we will prevail, written in a different ink. Hamilton is not only a crook, but a murderer. I do not believe in his remorse. I firmly believe he will pay for his crime. I do not believe in native magic, but I do believe in their vengeance. Okay, we got in there. Uh, I'm going to leave this here for today. This is so strange. 
But this is Kona for you. Oh, why can I look at the snow? That window had seemingly been left open for a while, Carl thought. For a while. Given the punishing weather, it couldn't have been intentional. Definitely not. I mean, a woman's froze to death. With her big, meaty hands. But yes, I have been Parky P. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video. Comment what you have enjoyed and also what you haven't enjoyed. You know, let me know what you're thinking of this game. Because I'm still not quite sold on it. I'm intrigued by it and... Well, I kind of want to see where the story goes. But I'd, I'm not sure, to be honest. So let me know what you guys are thinking. But then finally, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. And maybe even tap that bell just so you get notified of any future videos that I upload. Once again, I have been Parky P and I shall see you all next time.